Hey y'all. Today on Deep Fried Honey, we are making pot roast in the slow cooker. Um, so we're gonna start by getting our vegetables all prepared. Um, I'm gonna peel and chop some carrots. I'm also chopping up some celery, um, some red potatoes and an onion and some garlic. Um, actually probably need to take this opportunity to go ahead and let me just pause and I think I talked like out loud so here's my finger see it so this is my x-ray that is my fingertip kind of floating inside of my fingertip if, I don't know if you can tell but it's not connected to the rest of my finger it does not bend it doesn't curl. So this is me curling my fingers. You see how my middle finger, like you're supposed to, the point of curling your finger is so that this is a guard. Like no matter how close you get, this will save you. You won't cut your fingertips. Okay, so because I don't know how not to be long-winded, um, I go on this long spiel. I'm really entertained by how double-jointed I am, so that's what that was. But basically just talk about how I had surgery on my finger. Um, it causes um, some residual pain and it affects how I can hold, kind of position my entire hand, especially for long periods of time. So that is why I do not curl my fingers back or hold. My knife skills leave a lot to be desired and you should not copy me. Um, but I make do, as you can see. You want to make sure that you're chopping your vegetables to where they're kind of sort of an even size amongst each other. It doesn't matter if your potatoes and your carrots are the same size, but you don't want anything too big. Um, and you want everything even, like I said. Um, I toss all of my vegetables in at the beginning with the pot roast. You can feel free to not do this. I don't like carrots, but I like carrots and roast. I like for there to be like beefy flavor all the way in the center of the carrot. So I put it all in at the same time in the beginning. If you want a crunchier carrot or celery or whatever, toss it in later. You always have to adjust recipes for your own taste. Like, I don't know you. I don't know what you like. I don't know what you do in your kitchen. Do what feels right to you. Now you want to get your roast seasoned and seared. Um, my crock pot has a saute function, so I can do it all in the same, you know, in my slow cooker. If yours doesn't, you can use a skillet. It really doesn't matter. You'll just have an extra dish to wash. Um, so you just want to make sure you sear it all over. I'm using a bottom round roast. It's my preference, you can use the chuck or whatever you want. I don't like marbling and fat and stuff in my meat. Yes, I know it adds flavor and yes, all of that, but it, it's a mouthfeel thing for me. So personal preference. Um, and then you want to season it after you pour in your beef broth. Um, I season with thyme, Worcestershire. I'm using Brass Cuisine's beef and more seasoning. You can use any beef or steak seasoning that you like. Um, also some Lowry's. You also want to toss in a small can of tomato sauce and I mean, whatever else you think you might want at this point. Someone called me and interrupted my recording, but this, uh, I added bay leaves, paprika, cayenne, and some more salt. It may seem like it's a whole lot of seasoning, but you have to consider that you're using like a four pound piece of meat, you're using two pounds of potatoes. I'm adding more, see? Um, uh, you also have in like the almost five cups of broth, like there's, you don't want a flavorless stew like that that defeats the purpose of having a stew i mean i don't know that's like i said it's your kitchen you do what you want um but mine needed more um and then it's just a matter of cooking it i cook it over low you can definitely do it over high i've never really noticed much of a difference um after the fat has softened softened i like to remove it like i said i don't like that stuff at all um and then i also take out the bay leaves and the thyme sprigs. If you strip the thyme before you put it in there, you don't have to worry about doing that. Um, and then this is me thickening the gravy because the roast is almost tender. Um, I do that by taking some cornstarch and whisking a bit of the cooking liquid into the cornstarch in small amounts. You can use more if you like a thicker gravy. I don't really like my pot roast gravy as thick as I do like a beef stew, so. I leave it a little loose and then I break up the meat when it's tender. Um, after it looks like it's all ready, I like to test the vegetables just to make sure that they're fine. 
As you can see, they are not mushy. Um, to me, they have the perfect texture. They're just soft enough. And um, yeah, that was a happy clap because I really like pot roast. <laughs> um, so I served it over rice, just plain white rice. And it was really good. Um, so this recipe is up on deepfry90.com. If you make it, I hope you let me know what you think. And thanks as always for spending a little bit of time with me today. I hope you have a good one. Bye.